Hi, my name's Kat and you're watching The Vintage Redhead and today I'm going to be looking at five beauty products from the 1950s that I still love today and maybe you do too or maybe you will once you discover them through this video. So these are all products that are very easily to get hold of today uh, and that's what I think is particularly special about them because in 2022, um, 70 or so years on, these products are still very, very well loved. So the first that I have on my list to show you is Pons, Pons Wonderful Cold Cream Makeup Remover. So Pons is a real icon. It was invented in the United States as a patent medicine by pharmacist Theron T. Pond, and that was in 1846. Mr. Pond extracted a healing tea from witch hazel, which he discovered could heal small cuts, um, and this was basically marketed as a product called Golden Treasure. It's basically a cold cream, and cold creams are effectively a mixture of oil and water. So that usually includes beeswax as well as various scents, and it's designed to smooth skin and remove makeup, which it does incredibly effectively. And the name cold cream comes from the fact that these creams literally feel cool on the skin. Variations of this product have been in existence for nearly 2,000 years. I believe it was the physicist Galen who uh, was said to have created this, this emulsion of, of oil and water originally. But it's, it's evolved a lot and I think it's, it's the evolution of cold cream has culminated at Pons and I can't see anyone beating it anytime soon. So Pons is really special and really varied in its uses. Yes, you can use it to take makeup off, but people can also leave it on their skin for a little bit longer to really absorb its rich moisturising properties. It's actually a little bit harder to get now. I believe in, I think it was actually 2020, 2021, really recently that Pons has, I think, officially discontinued um, cold cream, but you can still get hold of it. So I would do what I'm doing and try to buy up as much as you can in local stores, if you see any local to you that sell it, um, get it because it's, I think this is a dying, dying breed, unfortunately. And there's a really interesting article I'll link to uh, in the description, which, which tells you a little bit about a journalist's story trying to find ponds, at least here in the UK. So it's a really beautiful, creamy, rich formula. I'll just get a little bit out here on my hand. Interestingly, it, it doesn't, um, it doesn't absorb into the skin. It kind of just stays on top. And the idea is that once you've kind of, um, I won't do it now because I want to keep my makeup on for this video, but once you've smeared it all over your face, I kind of like rubbed it in gently, it feels really, really nice and moisturizing. You could then get like a, a warm, damp muslin cloth or any kind of like cleansing cloth that you use. It's got a really nice soft flannel to use um, and, and remove it with like warm water and that cloth and that will take it all off. And I've never known a cleanser to leave my skin feeling as though I'd moisturized it. And that's what really amazed me about Pons. Um, I'm so used to using kind of, even the, the so-called gentle makeup removers seem to leave my skin feeling a little bit dry and tight, uh, but Pons doesn't do that and I'm sold. I don't think I'll ever use anything else as long as I can get hold of my handy Pons. And at the moment you can still get these 100ml jars, it's about 100 mils, um, for about six pounds and uh, I think about six dollars as well. It's also got a really lovely smell uh, which leaves your skin smelling uh, really, really lovely and um, kind of like rose water-like. So next up is another moisturizing product, and this is the lovely Nivea Cream. This is a cream that I believe that some people have used on their face. I find it might be a little bit too heavy for my skin. I can get quite oily skin, so I have never used it on my face, but I use it on my body. This is a full body moisturizer, and I absolutely love it. Now, I'll, I'll read just what it says in the back because it kind of just sums it all up, really. The original moisturiser for the whole family, Nivea Cream, enriched with the skin-related Eucerit, uh, registered trademark, um, provides the skin with all the protective care it needs to stay soft and supple. So that Eucerit that is mentioned, that's kind of what makes Nivea Cream a little bit special. It's an emulsifying agent and it's similar to Pons in that it's a water mixed with oil emulsion. and. Eucerit is this kind of key agent in it, which is what makes Nivea cream so special, apparently. Um, I don't know too much about the science behind it all, I just know that this is a really, really rich uh, cream, which once you manage to rub it in, um, I think some people would maybe find this a little bit too oily, too greasy, potentially, but I actually really want to feel like my skin uh, has been moisturised once I've moisturised it. And the lovely thing is, once it has kind of like settled in, maybe after about five minutes, um, your skin will stay uh, really soft and supple and moisturised 
all day. This is an, definitely one of those all day moisturizing, moisturizing creams. And just like Pons, comes at a crazily affordable uh, price. I believe it's about four pounds, four or five pounds for a massive tin of this. And that's another nice thing. It comes in a tin, not a bottle that you have to squeeze and you can't get everything out of it. Not a pump, which again, you it leaves a bunch of the products uh, in the bottle. With the cream, you get everything and then you get a handy tin afterwards. So <laughs> I just really, really love um, Nivea cream. It also has a really, really lovely smell. Rose and Lily of the, the Valley, those are the main um, smells. And it's just a very iconic and distinctive uh, product, which I, I still love today. And I, I don't think I'll ever use anything else again. So we're done with the cleansing and the moisturizing. Now we've got some makeup products to look at. So first up on my list, this Max Factor Pan Stick. So this is something that I'd never used until recently when I was researching, you know, what kind of makeup products were available in the past that we could still get today. And this one is one that I've been really, really delighted with. So I've said in a previous video that I'm obsessed with Estee Lauder Double Wear. This is a really amazing makeup, especially if you're somebody who, who likes a lot of um, high coverage makeup and, and wants their makeup to be long lasting and, and like I said, full coverage. Well, Estee Lauder's Double Wear retails at about uh, 25 to 30 pounds. Pan Stick comes in at maybe six or seven pounds. Uh, that's what I picked this up for on Amazon. The only problem is this has been discontinued very recently by Max Factor and replaced with uh, what I've heard is a inferior product, uh, which is called, I think, Facefinity All Day Matte Pan Stick, which apparently is not as good as the original. And it's, it's about double the price of what the original one was. It comes in this, well, it is just like a stick of makeup, which you push up using this, these little kind of clicky little wheel at the bottom. So it's a really original design. I haven't seen done in any other makeup product. And the idea was that Max Factor in 1947, that's when Pan Stick was released, after years and years of testing in the Hollywood laboratories, um, covering models' legs in, in makeup, um, in pan stick, and putting them in the sun to see how, how the, the makeup reacted, they came up with this ideal formula. So it's kind of based on Hollywood starlets' makeup, but at the same time, it was marketed to be as easy to apply as lipstick. So it comes in this really handy little tube. I like to keep this in my handbag if I'm going out. I don't really want to carry a big bottle of double wear around with me, but certainly a little pan stick um, is really, really nice for touch-ups. So even though I don't use this for my whole face, I almost use it as a kind of a touch and go concealer. And it's, it's, it's incredible. I'll also give a shout out to Cream Puff, which is also by Max Factor, which is a product that has been around for a long time, since 1953. And that is still available, um, basically in its original form. So if you do want to check out another Max Factor product that is, you know, well, well loved and has been for many, many years, then Cream Puff is a lovely uh, face powder. I would have shown you that, but it's a powder, you know, a powder is a powder. I know some people rave about it, but to me, the more interesting um, breakthrough product is pan stick. Next up, we have this lovely little blush pot from Bourjois Paris. Bourjois is a brand that's been around for a very long time, um, 1863, it says it on the, the little pots themselves. And it was the blushes that they made that brought them to fame. And now, almost 150 years after its conception, this little round pot of Bourjois blusher, which retails for around £7.50, is still one of the brand's best-selling lines and is really just a classic. I used to have this when I was a teenager just because I thought it was a cute, cute design. Um, it came with the brush, which was handy. And I just, I love that shape. There's something really um, ergonomical about that design and how it fits really nicely to the curvature of your, the apples of your cheeks. It's, it's pretty good coverage and it lasts forever. I don't think I've ever run out of one of these, even as a kid, um, wearing lots of blusher. Um, the bristles on the brush are a little bit harsh, they could be nicer, but other than that, it's so nicely designed. There's a little mirror in there as well. Again, this is one that I keep in my handbag at all times because it's just a really perfect colour as well. So I use Rose d'Or, um, which I think is the, the golden rose, it's, it's the lightest rose and perfect for pale skin. Um, just a really perfect pink colour. And finally, the star of the show, which is my recent new love and favourite lip colour, ever. It's Revlon Fire and Ice. So there are a bunch of Revlon lip shades that came out in the 40s, 50s, and that, that are still around today. There's a really great video by uh, With Love Christina, who um, tries all of these vintage um, Revlon shades. But Revlon Fire and Ice, uh, released in 1952, is by far my favourite. 
some really adorable red. I'm wearing it right now. Um, I'll just I'll give you a demonstration of the colour. Basically, this was released with a big two-page full-spread um, article. I think it was the uh, model Dorian Lee, who is pictured in a, a silver sequin dress. She's wrapped in, in a red cape. And the other side of the page features a questionnaire with a series of questions to help you figure out whether you are naughty or nice, fire or ice. And <laughs> basically, just to promote the lipstick, this elaborate um, and quite hilarious uh, questionnaire, which I thought, why not? Let's let's take the questionnaire together. So I'll read out the questions. I'll give you my answers, but um, maybe maybe join along. So I'm going to read out the what the article says. What is the American girl made of? Sugar and spice and everything nice? Not since the days of the Gibson girl. I don't know what the Gibson girl is, by the way. Leave me a comment below if you do. There's a new American beauty. She's tease and temptress, siren and gammon, dynamic and demure. Men find her slightly delight baffling, sometimes a little maddening. Yet they admit she's easily the most exciting woman in all the world. She's the 1952 American beauty, with a foolproof formula for melting a male. She's the fire and ice girl. Are you? Okay, so let's find out. Uh, first question, have you ever danced with your shoes off? I'm going to say yes, but that was at home, but not, not in public. Two, did you ever wish on a new moon? I'm actually an astrologer by trade, so uh, I guess I have wished on a new moon. I've set intentions on a new moon, for sure. So yes to that. Do you blush when you find yourself flirting? I don't flirt, but I definitely blush a lot, so let's just go with yes. When a recipe calls for one dash of bitters, do you think it's better with two? Uh, I've never cooked with bitters, but I'm sure I would add two if, if I had to. So four yeses from me. Do you secretly hope the next man you meet will be a psychiatrist? I don't know if I can say yes to that. I think that would be a no. Do you sometimes feel that other women resent you? I don't think so, no. Have you ever wanted to wear an ankle bracelet? Yes, when I was a child, I thought they were cool and edgy, five. So that's five yeses for me so far. Do sables excite you, even on other women? So do, like sable fur coats excite you? Um, I'm gonna say yes to that. Um, do you love to look up at a man? Yes, definitely, my fiance is a it's a good bit taller than me, and I, I like that. So yes to that. Do you face crowded parties with panic, then wind up having a wonderful time? Yes, all parties to me begin with panic, so certainly yes, and sometimes I have, I'll have a good time. Does gypsy music make you sad? Don't know what gypsy music is. Can't answer that. Uh, do you think any man really understands you? Um, yes, yes, I'm going to say yes to that. Would you streak your hair with platinum without consulting your husband? I would not. Um, I would have to consult him first. If tourist flights were running, would you take a trip to Mars? Uh, yes to that. And do you close your eyes when you're kissed? And I'm going to say yes to that. So I've got 10 yeses out of that. Count up your yeses. Um, and basically, if you can honestly answer yes to at least eight of those questions, da -da -da -da, then you are indeed made of fire and ice, and Revlon's lush and passionate Scarlet was made for you. Um, it's a daring projection of your own hidden personality. Wear it tonight. It might be the night of your lifetime. So there you go. Um, let me know in the comments below if you are also a fire and ice girl, um, and maybe try out Revlon's fire and ice. This lipstick is really lovely. Um, I've done a review of it before in my lipsticks for redheads, it's a, a, a bright red, I, I would say. The, the colour bright comes to mind. I really like it for um, the summer, I think, in the winter. Maybe you might want to try their cherries in the snow or one of their darker shades. But certainly Fire and Ice is perfect red, in my opinion. And the formula's lovely. Um, I've seen, again, it's another really affordable product. I've seen it for as low as $2.99 um, in some places. But certainly under about £10 or $10, you'll be able to find Fire and Ice by Revlon. So that's all I've got for these vintage products that you can still get today and that I still love very much today. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, I invite you to click like. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I've got new videos coming out every week. All right, thanks for watching and I will catch you next time.